I, Variety, I don't know if they still do, but they used to have a thing called the films, upcoming films and production chart, okay? So um, I used to, when I first started out in the business, used to pour through that like it was the Talmud or something. Mm -hmm. And if I saw a group of actors with the name of a writer or director that I didn't know and I wondered how they got those people to do that, I would get that script or see that director's work. And that's how I read Reservoir Dogs. So, and that's how I met Quentin and his script. And usually independent film agents will have the new people because those movies won't go unless you get an element, back to the whole element thing. So a person who worked for um, Lee Stallman, who worked for a then William Morris agent named Scott Zimmerman, who represented Matt Dillon, read Reservoir Dogs first because it was submitted to them and that's how Mike Simpson and Lee Stallman signed Quentin Tarantino. So that's, that you just have to you just have to look at the class coming up. You know, yes, there are people that are not just new people, people who are established, people who are reinventing themselves, people who write great scripts. I mean, the person um, you, you just never know, but you know when you see it. I can't really describe it. You know, and I also think you're coming up, as you said earlier, you're coming up with your peers. You're, you know, when I started. Uh, there was no agents submitting me material. I was sniffing around and, and trying to find writers who basically were in the same place that I was, which was nowhere. And they didn't have an agent and they were just getting started. And so you just read everything that you can, you meet everyone that you can. Um, and now, you know, the people that, that were nobodies with me are the people that are, you know, Graham Yost and Bob Rodad and all these wonderfully talented people that I've had the pleasure to have worked with over the years. But when we were starting, nobody, we were no, on no one's list. I, they weren't and I wasn't. And, and I think there's there's one other thing that a, that a, a producer is actually in the perfect position to do. Um, I, it's, it's funny, when I think of my career, I started as an agent. And then somebody said to me, uh, would you like to be a studio executive? Which, and, and I ended up following that course. So somebody saw potential in this young agent and said, do you want to do this other thing? And I, I said yes, and it led me down a path, okay? Now, I think as a producer, if you read a writer's work and you say, I see potential in you, that's the most complimentary thing you could possibly say to them. That's, that's, that's you know, when you were reading those screenplays, uh, you, you were going to basically pick up the phone and call somebody and say, I love your screenplay. I see potential in this. And, and, and that's how you are able to get that material. Offering somebody the chance to do more than what they're currently right. doing is a, an incredibly seductive uh, request. 